Hey guys, we are back. It's another week and today I'm kind of excited about something new that I didn't even know existed, mm -hmm. which I may be scared about, <laughs> but we are going to be talking about biological age testing. Is, sure. that, is that what it is? Yeah, what yeah, exactly. Mean? What that means is that you know, we have a chronological age. So, you know, my age is, I'm 52. I'm just letting everyone know. No, but that's my, yeah. that's my <laughs> chronological age. Yes. But the age of my cells could be different from my chronological age. Ooh, I could be okay. 45 or maybe I'm 60. So everyone is different based on what's happened to them, that their cells are either aging faster than their chrono mm. chronological age or they're aging slower based on what they're doing. And so that's what we're trying to do in longevity medicine is try to slow down the aging of these cells. Wow. So I, I mean, Sanjeev, do you know if somebody, let's say somebody follows a certain regime and mm -hmm. they do a complete lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that they can retest and there would be a different um, age given? For sure. That's the okay. whole. That's what that's we're trying to point. do. Okay. That's what we're doing in longevity medicine. We're trying to see if we can uh, put together interventions that are going to slow down the aging. We haven't really been able to really reverse aging sure. theoretically, but but for sure, uh, you know, different lifestyles are associated with different rates of aging. So if somebody's yeah. smoking, for example, we should have a faster age right and they should be older than their you know chronic yeah if you're age. polluting your body you're yeah, full of stress sure. you're not more taking inflammation care of yourself. all yeah. of this all of this is happening um, yeah i get that so i think we are reverse aging when you're when you're up adopting all of these hacks and everything i think it you, definitely helps it's definitely yeah helping. there's some manipulate there's some positive manipulation there yeah and so so i want to go a little bit into the science of how yeah. do they actually do this and so what they do it, it all started uh with uh the cool. scientist that yeah this is one particular company again there's many companies out there i mm -hmm. use this company i love them true diagnostic and we're going to have it on our website for people Perfect. to purchase but but basically uh they look at the uh, they basically took a little blood sample very small blood sample and they're able to look at uh different marks on your dna something like eight hundred thousand marks on your dna uh these what you know um your DNA is composed of four nucleotides, uh, okay. and they're looking at uh, between the C and G, there's a, whether or not that nucleo, that base pair has a what we call a methyl, methyl group. So it's a okay. little extra little molecule that's added on. And what, what they found is that based on the pattern of how the DNA kind of gets marked, if you want to call it marked, uh, they can tell you what your biologic age is. So for example, as we're getting older, the DNA is kind of getting worn, like it's kind of getting little marks put onto it. It's like a want. fence. It's kind of or like a floor. A floor. It's getting yeah, a little you're on the scuff floor. marks. Some dents. Yeah, yeah, scuff marks. Yeah, exactly. If you want to call it that way, it's a good, good way of doing it. So, there's little patterns. So there's certain areas where there's less scuff marks. Yes. Or if you want to call it less marks, and there's some places extra marks happen, and that's a very predictable way of measuring age. Okay. And it's a, and, the, and so these various clocks have come up to basically measure uh, the biologic age and how it relates to disease. So they can almost predict that, you know... Um, if someone's going to have a have certain a, yeah, do you have a, for something? For even a heart attack. Like, okay. let's say, you know, some of the clocks look at, uh, they can give you a certain age, and that's more predictive of you having a heart attack than right. a lower age. So this is an example. So there's, there's you know, different, type, different types of clocks, and... Um, you know, I think it's again for whatever th this is testing for those markers exactly in the blood mm -hmm. that is basically going to spit out a <laughs> you have the blood of a 60 year old exactly. or somebody in their 40s. Yeah. And, right? and it's and it's uh, and there's multiple different clocks. So it's not even like you're going to get multiple different ages. You're going to have you're going to be able to see. What's the exposure of alcohol on your on your DNA? Oh, so so it's not one. It's measuring a lot of different things. A lot of different patterns. We can look at. So you, as a physician, would have to can yeah. go through. Yeah. Can you can it isolate certain things in the body that are saying, oh, this is what's you need to address this or you need to take care of this? Yeah, you can see smoking exposure on your on your okay. uh, on your uh, lungs uh, on your uh, DNA. DNA. And we're looking at this again epigenetic, which means your DNA is not changing. What's changing is that the marks on top of the DNA and that's why it's called epi which means on top epigenetics Gen epigenetics, okay. epigenetics. So, and epigenetics is what's change what is the marker um, is what the process is of how we're able yeah, to change 
Is it my DNA from when I'm born the same exactly. as when I'm dead? The exact. The only difference the, is yeah. who's stepping on, who's marking exactly. it? Exactly, okay. exactly. And like what that. parts of the genes are being read. Okay. So what's happening in epigenetics is these marks, by, if there's a mark that goes on, what it might do is turn off certain genes off and on to be read. So it's a, just to imagine that if, if uh, your DNA is not just a straight line, like it's, it's all clumpled, uh, crumpled up. Oh, and, I see it. It's and like, it's, it's like, like, all, like a, it's all formed yes, together by yes. different proteins called histones. And so let's say if a, if a methyl group gets put on onto a particular part of the DNA, all of a sudden the protein structure changes and now uh, an, uh, you know, uh, mRNA can come in and translate a, a gene that was never there or turn off a gene that was... You know, have access to a gene that was not, not was not able to before. So what? Because aging in aging, gene cells die. Like we. Oh, well, it's not that they the, deteriorate. The genes the genes stay the exact same. It's just that how we're reading the genes change. It's like the book, the words are there. Just that some the some of the words may get you can't read them anymore. <laughs> like the words. It's like that, a nineteen twenty newspaper. It's like it's something. like yeah, yeah. Some of the words yeah. are gone they and were some there. yeah they're like. You yeah. can't, they're like yeah. faded out. So that's what's happening. And so okay. that's, it's pretty exciting. This field is really exciting because they can predict so many things now. We can predict your risk of diabetes and your risk of So this uh, isn't just for, for optics and to say, I have young blood. Like there's, yeah. what's the use case for measuring your um, I think right, biological age? I think right now it's very much about, hey, it's, it can be a, like a wake up call. Mm. Like if you have a certain type of age and you're like, your biologic age is more than your chronologic age, that's, then that's hey, it's issue. like, hey, you need to start right. thinking about some of these other hacks sure. and uh, getting your weight down and, and you know, uh, right. improving your blood pressure and so on and so forth. So, or because reducing even, your stress. Even, um, even if it spit out that it said I was 51, mm. I'd be upset. Because <laughs> like we're all trying to be, at least I'll speak for myself, I don't want, I want to be 31, right? So. I, I mean, that's, Probably unlikely on this I, test. I know. To be completely honest, because it's it's amazing how like there's not it's it's how accurate it is right. and how people are just aging. Yes. There's no question. Everyone is aging, even if no on the out, even on the outside it's looking like you're not aging. It, look, you, you are aging at this it's, stage. It's, it's epigenetics. It yeah. is analyzing so, your DNA. Yeah. So we can fake it, get our <laughs> you know Botox and all that kind of stuff, but yeah. like. This is gonna tell the truth. Yeah, I think what's also the other usefulness is that to track yourself over time. And so even if you get a number that, hey, you're 51 this year, and you put all this effort in, hopefully next year you're 50. Okay. Like you, but that you has happened. You, yeah, I have seen makes, that okay. happen, and so it's not out of the realm of possibility that that you can improve those type of numbers. And sure. you basically become, it's a better way than going to have your cholesterol checked, which sometimes isn't doesn't change ever. Right. And then, but this is much more accurate in that way to kind of give you overall what's happening at the, at the oh, level of epigenetics. That. So this is from True Diagnostic. Um, it will be available soon. Yeah, we're going to put it on the site so okay. everyone can just order right off the site. And again, I, this is my go-to. I love the people at uh, True Diagnostic. I think they're the most scientific-based so uh, test out there. So are you going to tell us what your age is? Did it come back? Oh, yeah. I, I come back a bit pretty much at my age. But there are oh, some, you do? Yeah, okay. but there's some, there's some parts that are like, they can also look at the speed of aging. Okay. And so that part luckily was better. Was better. Like yeah. I'm, I'm aging maybe slower than, than someone else. Right. Um, like lower than, lower, uh, slower than the slower. average. Okay. And I think that's the important thing is that yeah. you can't control what's in the past. Sure. All you can control is like Moving now. Moving forward. Like how Changing much, the habits. How fast can you, how fast are you aging now? We want to slow right. that down. Right, because if it said that, wow, you are this age and you are aging at a faster speed than someone who's taking better care of themselves, mm -hmm. it's a good, it is a good eye opener. Yeah. All right. If you're ready for a rude awakening, <laughs> <laughs> actually, this is super great, guys. If you are enjoying this content, please hit the like button, subscribe, more importantly, share. We'd love to hear your comments and we'd love to hear your questions so that each week we can bring something new for you that'll help you live longer and happier. So we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.